This short video will focus on equivalent fractions. If you need more information on this and other topics, contact me at http freedomuniversity.tv or by email at john at e hyphen l i t e works w o r k s dot com or at john at eliteworks.com or you can call me at area code 719-963 5873. We can start with this discussion with a simple example. Here we have two thirds, and we want to determine what is the numerator associated with this when the denominator is 12. What you could do is take this 12, divide by 3, and that will equal 4. Now, in order to make this equal to 1, you put also on the numerator 4. So 4 divided by 4 is 1. So in the denominator we know that 3 times 4 is 12 and that 2 times 4 is 8. So 2 thirds here is equivalent to 8 twelfths. Another example would be 3 fifths. Here the denominator is 25. Once again, the procedure is try to find a number that would equal 25 when you divide by 5. So, 25 divided by 5 is equal to 5. That's what goes in the denominator. And then you multiply or put on the numerator another 5 in order to make it equal to 1. So, 5 times 5 is 25. 3 times 5 is 15. So 3 fifths is equivalent to 1525. How about 3 fourths? Here the numerator is 21 and we need to figure out what the denominator is to make this an equivalent fraction. So we could do the same thing except we're going to operate on the numerator. 21 divided by 3 is 7 on the numerator and we put a 7 in the denominator to make this equal to 1 because 3 fourths times 1 is just 3 fourths. So in this example if we start off with the numerator 3 times 7 is 21 4 times 7 is 28. So we say that 3 fourths is equivalent to 21 28. Now you can pause this video with this practice one. Here we have 1 7th and here we have 8 in the numerator and a question in the denominator. So you can pause this video and see how you can calculate the answer and then press on with this video and I'll show you what the answer is. So here the solution would be is what number is equal 1 times question mark equals an 8. Well, 8 divided by 1 in this case is equal to 8. Again, we put that what goes in the numerator is 8 and what goes in the denominator is also 8. So in, in the numerator, once again, it's 1 times 8 is equal to 8 and in the denominator is 7 times 8 is equal to 56. So 1 seventh is an equivalent fraction of 8 divided by 56, or 856.